my name's Imran. This is my cat Prince, and I wanted to make a video to show you as quickly as possible how you can load 120 film into a 620 camera. So I'm sure if you're watching this, it's probably because you picked up a camera that you open up and it says use 620 Kodak film only. Now, I studied marketing in college, and something we learned about is how you bring customers coming back. And Kodak's way of doing that way back when was by making 620 film, which was literally 120 film wrapped around their own type of spool. That spool had thinner ends, had smaller radius like ends there. So when you look at like a spool, this was a smaller radius and thinner. They don't make it anymore. Obviously shooting with a camera like this is a lot of fun. It's a unique experience and a lot of times it's just, they take really beautiful photos. This Kodak Reflex IA I have here is in mint condition. I've shot it already and it is incredible. Without further ado, let me show you how it's done. First things first, you're gonna need some 120 film. Get yourself some really tough sandpaper. This right here is 60 grit. You can get 100 grit, that's fine, but you definitely want it to be tough. Unwrap that roll. Don't throw your plastic on the ground. Be good to the environment. Now start grinding away. You just want to flatly grind away. And I'll show you here in a second what it looks like after it's done. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's what the new side looks like. And here's what it looks like after grinding it down. Much thinner. I usually know because the new side has those ridges. And once you've grinded away those ridges, that's when you're good. That's when it's thin enough to use into the 620 camera. Now grab yourself some nice toenail clippers and start clipping away at that. You're going to clip away the edges right where it's flush with the actual paper roll, but you don't want to go any deeper than that because then you could potentially experience light leaks. I've never had an issue with something like this just around the edges. Let me show you what that looks like. Yeah, you've clipped away and there you go. You've got a nice little nub. That right there, that's a 620 roll. Oh yeah! After that, I mean, each camera is generally loaded the same way. I'll just show you with this camera here. You'll have this little nub of a, of a roll now. Now it's important on a lot of these cameras that you have to have a 620 take-up spool up here. You can't use a regular 120 spool on this. It will not work. Trust me, I've tried it. I've wasted a whole roll on it. Actually, I wasted a couple of rolls on it. Anyway, you have to have a 620 spool. If your camera doesn't already have one in it, you could buy it on eBay. They're a couple bucks each. I think people are 3D printing them now these days, which is kind of cool. I bet Kodak never thought of that in the 1940s. But you load the film in here, you wrap it up around there, put it into the take-up spool, and spin it up. So go ahead and get that nub you've got. Unwrap it. Yep, don't throw that on the ground. Be good to the environment. Put it in your pocket or something. Okay, now you want to have the flap up here, right? You're gonna, this is pretty self-explanatory, but again, let me just show you how it's done. Put it in there, and you're gonna watch me make a mistake here in a second. This right here is fine, bring it up. You wanna make it nice and flush. Now put it into the take-up spool slot. Usually it's gonna catch it no problem, right? And as you're doing that, make sure you hold the roll in, because otherwise, it could fall out. Now I got lucky here because it didn't go too far out, otherwise I would have ruined the entire roll. Now I know it's gonna be totally fine, Again, hold that in there, make sure it's nice and flush, and make sure it's catching the actual spool. Now, close that up, and you're gonna roll it up. Now, here's an important part as well. Most cameras that use 620 film had this kind of red window where you could see if the film is in the right spot. So you're gonna spin, 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 spin. At some point, you're gonna see an arrow, right? Now, that arrow is saying, hey, by the way, you're almost there. Okay, so keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. At some point, you're gonna see the word Kodak and then you're gonna see the first number. Now this is really subtle, I'm gonna show you here. This is the one, it looks more like a tiny line, now you have to make sure it's there, and boom, snap, you're good. Please do not use this shot to come find where I live. I would appreciate the privacy, but you are ready to shoot 620 film. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see more videos about film photography, how to shoot with cameras like this, what it looks like to shoot with cameras like this, all sorts of other things, hit subscribe, leave a like and a comment on your way out. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.